Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be building that penguin finally, learning some controls and um, you know just basically figuring out a few things on how to actually start modeling things. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to teach you is uh, some basic controls. So the first control that I'm going to teach you is the rotation. If you left click uh, your mouse you're, and drag you're going to be able to rotate your viewpoint around. If you right click and drag, you're going to be able to pan and using your scroll wheel, uh, you're going to be able to zoom in and out. So that's going to help when modeling and kind of just uh, getting to places that you need um, for sure. So once you kind of master that, uh, you're able to move on to the next thing, which is adding a group. And we're going to rename this group um, something like right underscore foot. Uh, now remember that the name needs to be in English characters and that um, the um, there needs to be no spaces or anything like that as well. So once we got the right foot set up, uh, what we need to do is add a mesh. So we're going to be clicking this button here, which is add cube. It's going to add a cube to the um, thing. Now if it's... Um, not under a particular f folder that you're wanting. Uh, what you want to do is make sure you select that particular um, profile and then add cube and then I'll put it under that one. So there's a few other controls here um, that will make your life a little bit easier. So if you, by default, if you just uh, drag it like this, then it's going to move it between every um, chunk uh, the axis, you can grab each axis like this and it will move it. Or if you hold the shift, or pardon me, left alt button, you can actually change the size of the, the mesh. And uh, if you hold control and drag, then what it will do is allow you to have more control over what position it's in. So those are just some basic extra controls that you'll probably be using uh, when you need to. Uh, for the most part, your controls and stuff will be over here, like the pivot points and stuff will be all on this side. Uh, what we're gonna do is make the feet first. So I'm gonna go four by six, something like, uh, something like that. And then we're gonna bring it down to the center, bring it out one. And uh, what we need to do is duplicate the right foot. And we're going to rename this left foot. Oh, not foot foot. Or loot foot. <laughs> All right, so rename left left foot. So renaming the profiles here will help with the animation process later. And we're going to move the left foot over to the left. That's actually should be the right side. So we'll move the right one over to the left that side. So if you're kind of facing this way, this is what it's going to be like. Uh, we're now facing. Oh, no, I was right the other way because this is facing north, right? So we're now looking the direction the character is going to be facing, right? So this is the uh, right foot, that's the left foot, as you can see, like that. And now we have our feet in place. What we need to do is uh, create a new folder. We're going to drag that. Now if the folder is actually under another folder, make sure that it isn't. Uh, put that at the bottom where the line actually turns blue and then they're all aligned like this. So we're going to call this one the body, uh, probably lowercase body, not bloody, body. There we go. Okay, so we need one cube to start with. I'm going to actually raise this up so we can see what we're doing. We're going to drag this up, I would say, uh, let's see here, probably 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll go 12. And we'll bring that just about, we'll go about there. And then we'll go this way. And then we'll go forward about here. Uh, maybe that's too wide, so we'll go one, two. Bring it in forward like that. And uh, I think it would be cute to have a little belly on them. So we're going to have um, another cube. And we're going to bring that forward to about there. And we're going to go down, I would say, about one pixel in every direction. Like so. And we're going to put a back belly on them as well. So duplicate, and then we're going to put that on the back side. So that's going to be our... So now what we need is the head. So we're going to create a new f new folder. Make sure it's aligned at the bottom there. We're going to call this the head. And we're going to need to add a cube. We're going to move that cube up where we can see it. And we're going to need, say, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight. Eight. We'll see if 8 does okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll go back 1. And I think that's 4, 5, 6. We might want to do 6. So something like this. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we're going to move that over to the center here. Um, it's looking okay. It probably could be a little bit bigger. So, one, two, one, two, one, two. Maybe that's too big. Okay, yeah, that's too big, so... We'll bring it back down to six. And we'll put it right about there. And uh, now we need the wings. Uh, but before we get move on to the wings, what we want to do is add another one. And I think it would look really cute if you had a little beak here. So we're going to move uh, that right about there and move it like that. So we have a little beak on our penguin. And um, yeah, that'll be good. So we can move on to the right wing, which will be on this side. So we need a new folder. Make sure it's at the bottom there. We'll go right uh, wing. And then we'll add a cube. And we're going to just kind of measure the um, width of the actual uh, body there. I'm going to bring it down to about there. And yeah, that looks, that looks decent. Uh, I'm actually going to do a little more decoration on the um, bottom side so I'm going to leave a couple pixels down there and then we're going to duplicate that and bring that down a little bit more we're going to go one in and we're going to bring that up a little bit more like that and we're going to also do that again this time we're going to bring it in one more so it's something like that and then what we're going to do is duplicate this we're going to say this is our rename left wing and we're going to move that over here so that's basically what our penguin looks like it's a little bit uh, wide but hey whatever 
Uh, now we need to set up the pivot points for all these components. That's uh, quite easily done by selecting the folder. And as you can see, the pivot point um, is a little bit further off. So we're going to uh, press this button right here under the pivot point selection. Now it's going to center it. So once it's centered, uh, what we can do is we can offset the pivot point a little bit on the y-axis. Uh, we'll set 7 and then we'll go up as needed and as you can see it's kind of right there so what we're going to do is we're going to say set this to 6 and then we're going to move it back to 5 so it's right up against the main body part and now if we were to rotate it um, on the uh, I believe it's no not that axis this axis as you can see here whoop, um, hold on a sec two okay as you can see here the wing rotation is now going to pivot around this part here so uh, we can kind of adjust the the wing depth and stuff like that to make it so the wings flap that direction by putting the pivot point on that wing there. I will do that this for the other wing as well. So we're going to center it, uh, raise it, and um, make sure that it's aligned with the other part here as well. So there, and we'll set two. So something like that. And now that you have the pivot points for the wing set up, uh, just make sure that it's rotating on the right axis. And that looks fine. So the head's a little bit different. Uh, what we want to do is center it. And uh, what we want to do is, uh, let's see, we want to move it. A little bit um, towards the bottom so we're going to go down a little bit like so uh, we're actually going to go one three because that should be the bottom exact bottom if we raise this uh, for the most part we'll be able to see where the pivot point is actually located so it's not exactly center so we're going to have to adjust that uh, we're going to set the solid number and we're going to bring it to the center of the uh, head here and then we're just going to, with the folder selected, we're going to move it back down. So the next thing is the feet. Uh, we don't need actual pivot point for the body. We just need to center, centralize it. And uh, <coughs> so we just need to centralize the body. And once we get that set up, then what we can do is move on to the feet. So left foot. Um, I prefer having the left foot um, towards the back here uh, just because of the um, the way that it looks and stuff so we're gonna set that up quickly so we're gonna centralize it and we're going to bring it uh, back to the back of the foot and we're going to go one up so it should be right should be right there so yeah that's where the pivot point is, right at the back of the foot, as you can see. So we'll move on to the right foot, and uh, just make sure to test the rotation. So we want the rotation to be this way, and that's what it's going to look like if the entity is walking. Kind of a little bit buggy, but it's okay. And we're going to select this one, and we're going to move the pivot point 
uh, centralize it and bring it one up. And then we're going to test the rotation again. Oh, wrong one. So that looks good too. Um, we can also actually offset it uh, further in. So maybe one pixel in and then test the rotation. So that's what it would look like if it was rotating at that axis. So that looks a little bit better, so we'll do that for this one as well. Yeah, so that's better. And uh, yeah, so that's basically how you uh, set up the pivot points, uh, model a quick penguin, and uh, next episode we'll work on the UV mapping and uh, getting all the textures and stuff set up so you guys can um, basically export it and get ready for exporting and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys found this tutorial useful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.